welcome back to my channel. I'm King Dino and on this episode, I'm in Wodonga. Now, there is no Twyla, there is no Adam. They're back at home. I'm working here for seven days. So what I thought is I'll put a video together of everything I get up to after work and before work. I don't think it's gonna be much, but I can show you a bit around. Now, this is a hotel I'm staying in. Now, let me get the name of it. Wait a second. It's the Eco Lodge. Um, and I'm staying here for the, I think it's six nights. And yeah, so let me take you for a tour first around my hotel room. Look at this, look at this. Beautiful brick walls. And um, then I'll take you out the front and show you the pool. And then I've got to head off to dinner. We're going across the road tonight to a pub, just grabbing a pub meal, because we've had a big day at work. And then hopefully over the next few days, I can take you on the road somewhere in the morning before work. All right, well, this is a hotel room. Let's have a look. So I've got my own lovely couch, a table, which you pretty much walk into as soon as you walk into the room, but that's okay. And then I've got my bed. Look, it's even got the gay flag colors and <laughs> some beautiful artwork in the room. Oh, check this out. What's this one? Oh, that's interesting. And then over here, I have my TV, microwave, a few mirrors, long and small. And then over here, we have, wait a second, let's open up. Okay, we've got a toaster. We've got um, a kettle. The only thing that they don't have is, I don't have any milk, so I'm gonna have to buy some milk. And I, if I want to use my toaster, there's no plate to butter and there's no knife to butter with. But anyway, but anyway, that's <laughs> that's that. I suppose you can ask reception and I'll give it to you. Um, and then obviously my fridge, my bag, um, which is over full as per usual. And then in here, oh, we have the bathroom. Now I do like the shower, it's been redone, you know, modernized and it has a really awesome big look at that the shower head on that it's like a big rain one awesome and then just your typical toilet and you know they give you an extra mirror you can pull out so you can check out all your blackheads and and all your normal bits and pieces they leave in a hotel room well there you have it that's the room and that's where i'll be staying for the next seven days in this room and uh, yeah, let's pop out the front and check out the kidney pool. Well, there you have it. That's outside. Now out for dinner. We I just stopped off at the White Owl to grab myself a coffee and a toasty and I tell you the coffee tastes delicious and also they gave me a free shortbread on top of my coffee which I think is always a cute touch. Anyway, I better hurry up and get to work. Mm. Well guys, I'm just back home from work, well not home, my hotel room and I resolved the problem about the milk. I went and brought my own so I can have my coffee in the morning. And I bought myself a $4 wine glass so I can have a glass of wine in a normal wine glass. Anyway, I'm gonna to head to the pool now, have my glass, and then we'll go out for dinner. Even if it's not the hottest day. This is one way I like to unwind after work when I'm staying in a hotel. If it's got a pool, just bring my glass of wine down to the pool, put my feet in, not even just hop in, just my feet and chill for a minute and then head out for dinner. But 
I don't mind it. Got the pool to myself and uh, I've even got a palm tree. <laughs> so I've woken up super early today. It is 6.30 in the morning and I'm down the main streets of Wodonga. I'm just gonna take a walk around, try to find somewhere nice for breakfast. It's absolutely dead, but there's no one around at all. Now, we have been here before, Adam and Twyla and myself. If you want to see that video, I'll link it down below. We were just passing through on the way. I think we were on the way to Coffs Harbour in our van. But yeah, you can check that out. Um, anyway, so let's go explore this area. This is really cute. And actually, I might come back here because of these, all these restaurants over in the old train station. I might come back here tonight and have dinner. But we'll see. Anyway, let's go find some breakfast. How cool this area is so this place here is they've actually made it look like the old train tracks but they've got a vine growing over the top of this and it looks so cool anyway it looks like they're setting up a, a market here now it's 6 30 so i don't know what time this market starts and i've got to actually go to work today so might not be able to stay around for the market but I'm really struggling to find anywhere that I can even get a coffee from. Obviously there's probably a Macca's around here or something, but these are the streets. There's a couple there walking with their baby. Maybe I could follow them and try to find out where they're going for breakfast. But uh, yeah, there's not much going on this morning. Anyway, let's keep walking the streets and check it out. Okay, so I'm here, and if I walk up this road, it looks like there's coffee here, coffee here. All right, so let's walk up this road and go see if I can get myself a coffee. Not liking my chances. Okay, so I did not find one place open where I could get a coffee and breakfast in Wodonga. So I have crossed the border and I am now in New South Wales. And it looks a bit the same around here, but I was driving down a few of the streets and I found one cafe that was open. So I'm heading there now to have some breakfast, finally. Well, unfortunately, you need the New South Wales app to be able to check in. I have the Victorian app. They said to download it, but seriously, I don't have time to download it. I just need a coffee. <sighs> so this idea of coming across the border, I might do again, but I'm going to have to go back, download the app. I know how long it took to sign up on the Victorian app to get it all linked up. I'm not standing here for an hour doing that. So I think I'm just gonna move on, go back to Victoria and um, find a McDonald's for breakfast. <laughs> so I'm safely back in Victoria and I'm back to where I started. Literally that is the market getting still set up across the road. It's getting a bit busier there now. And I found myself a cafe just down here. So I'm gonna go finally get my coffee. Thank God. <laughs> That was absolutely beautiful. I really enjoyed that. It was worth the wait. <laughs> I th at one stage, I thought I was gonna get breakfast, but here I am. Anyway, I might go check out the um, market across the road after I finish my coffee. And um, yeah, all right, well, then off to work. Cheers.
while work's over for another day. So I'm doing my normal after work ritual when I'm away from home. That is to put my feet in the pool, glass of vino and time to chill out. Then I'm gonna head down back to where the market was today to check out that all lit up at night. And then I'm gonna to head to the Italian restaurant and see if I can get in there. I haven't booked, so we'll see what happens. Then I might go have a sneaky poke at the pokies. Something to do. Anyway, all right, well, let me enjoy this wine and uh, we'll head down there soon. When you think your day can't get any worse, <laughs> I've walked all the way to the Italian restaurant, which is a, probably about 25 minutes walk from my hotel room and to find out that it's actually closed. Now that's my fault because I didn't check online. I just assumed being from Melbourne, everything is open, but no, it's not and it's closed. But good news, standing here filming this, I can smell the most delicious food ever. There is a Indian restaurant next door. So let's go in there and check out what they're serving. So I've ordered my meal. I'm getting a vindaloo, um, a rice, and uh, a garlic naan. And they asked me how hot I would like it. And I said, Indian hot, not Aussie hot. So let's see how we go. I think I'm gonna get a few sweat beads here, but that's okay. Nice. Well, I really enjoyed that. It was really nice. And it was just so good to have a conversation with a local and find out a bit more about the area. Anyway, now we're gonna go ahead and see if the pokies are open to give that a go. And hopefully, I'll win a million dollars, we'll see. There you have it, I've put my $20 in, I'm a loser. And that just goes to show you, make sure when you're betting, set a limit and that's it. $20, done. Now, time to go to bed and get ready for another day at work. So this morning, I'm up nice and early. I thought I'd come for a walk in the Aubrey Botanical Gardens. They look absolutely beautiful. So it's not from where we're staying um, in Wodonga. It's probably a 15 minute drive and it's just across the border pretty much. And um, yeah, it's a really, really nice park. You can see now with all the different plants. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna take a walk through here. Now, I remember last time, we were here when, um, when I was here with Twyla and Adam. Um, we went up to a shrine, shrine of remembrance kind of um, memorial thing um, on top of a hill. And I think that is at the back of this park. But anyway, if it is, we'll go check it out. But otherwise, yeah, just going to keep looking around. So to get to the Remembrance Shrine, you've got to walk out of the back of the gardens and there's a little walkway and you come up and I'm starting to get a little bit of a view at the moment and I'm a bit out of breath because 
This hill is so steep. Let me turn the camera around and show you the stairs I'm about to walk up. Check out this. Here's a kangaroo. I'm just, oh, there you go. <laughs> I can't believe I just got that kangaroo on footage um, on my film. But anyway, this is it up here. Oh, look, there it goes, Skippy again. Jumping by. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, so I'm climbing up to the Remembrance Shrine. It's a very steep hill, but it's a really cool walk. And the view is starting to appear. And yes, this is quite nice, but definitely out of breath. <laughs> So I made it to the top of the hill. Check out the view, how awesome is this? It looks so good from up here. It was definitely worth the walk. Now to head back down, go back to Wodonga and get some breakfast. Well, I'm back in Wodonga and I thought I'd come down here. I've noticed all the locals pulling over, grabbing their coffees from these little they're like, they look like little pop-up um, cafes kind of thing, but they're in like containers. And um, I thought, how cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go over there and grab some breakfast and a coffee. And then you can sit around here where the market was the other day, underneath this little canopy thing. How nice is this? It's a beautiful day here today. Well, back in my happy place at the pool, chilling out. It's been another big full on day for work. Now I haven't filmed my last few nights out for dinner because we've just literally been going across the road to the pub, having very similar meals every night. So nothing that exciting. But tonight we're heading out and gonna find a restaurant. I don't know where we're going, but we're gonna see what we find and uh, hopefully it's something yummy. All right, well, I better get out of this pool and get ready for dinner. Good morning. It is 6.45 in the morning. I've gotten up super early, so I could drive down to the Hume Dam. Now, last time we were here, we were on the other side right up there but this time I've actually come to the other side of the Hume Dam so I could get to the lower level to see the water coming out the bottom of the dam so let me go over there and let's go check it out size of this dam is absolutely incredible and you can just see from here the force of that water coming out it's just insane it looks so cool anyway i'm going to get back in my car drive around and we're going to get an elevated view from over that side Listen to those birds. I think there's a kookaburra. How cool is that? And there's plenty of ducks and rabbits around here. So we're now at the top of the dam. This is the water that sits behind the dam and it's so, so beautiful up here. And this is actually where uh, Adam, Twyla and myself came on the start of our big trip up to Coffs Harbour. So if you wanna check that video, I will pop that down at the bottom. But yeah, we stayed here, it was beautiful. But when we did stay here, the water was out quite a bit and I took Twyla all the way out there. But now, with all the rain we've had, check out how full this is, it's so full. 
Anyway, let's head over and go see the top of Feudan Dam. So I'm now at the top of the dam and the more exciting thing for me is last time we were here, it wasn't open. You couldn't walk over it. They had it all blocked off, but now it's open. So let's go walk over and check it out. I'm so glad I came back to see the Hume Dam again. I didn't get this experience last time to be able to walk over it. It is so cool. It is just like being on a James Bond set. How cool is that? And even better, I've got the whole place to myself. How cool is that? I just got back to the car park. I'm about to leave the Hume Dam, but check out this, another van lifer, how cool. Don't worry, next week we'll be back in the van with Adam and Twyla and we'll be doing a van life video. But anyway, until then, I better get to work. So I've just started eating lunch and this guy stalked me. Do you want a chippy? Do you want a chippy? Here you go, have a chippy. Now you probably will never leave me alone again. How cute is that? I'll call you Ducky. So it's my last night in the hotel. We got home from work so late, it was not funny. And then we went across the road to the pub that I've been to now, I think four or five times. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna get an early night because tomorrow I'm leaving to go home. But before I go home, I'm gonna try to go to the army museum that's here and um, check it out. So good night guys and see you in the morning. So I've gotten up early this morning to go to the Army Museum in Wodonga, but unfortunately it's closed. I think due to the COVID thing, um, a lot of people probably weren't going there because they couldn't leave Melbourne. But anyway, hopefully it'll open up again soon and hopefully one day I'll get to visit it. But anyway, I'm heading home today and um, I'm literally going home washing my clothes after being away for however day, many days it was, I think it was seven days, eight days. Anyway, and then I'm going to be heading straight off the next day with Adam and Twyla to go somewhere for our next adventure so make sure you stay tuned next week to watch that one and please support us by going down below and helping us out and liking subscribing and telling people about us share our videos and um yeah we'll see you next week for another adventure all right guys thanks for watching and we'll see you then bye